Hi, my name is Jeffrey Levinson. I'm one of the customer advocates here at Melilly. Today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to use the Blackout External Markup workflow. Sometimes, there's a need to externally markup documents outside of the Relativity Viewer. Typically, this is because documents are too large for Relativity to display. Now, this can be a huge roadblock for reviewers. That's why we created this workflow. To get around this, you start by identifying the documents that are greater than 10 megabytes. That's the usual document size limit for the Relativity Viewer. To get started, we need to create a new search to identify these documents. We'll click New Search, and we name our search. For me, I will name mine greater than 10 megabytes. And we add a condition. The condition to add is File Size. And now you'll see an operator area. We need to choose is greater than because we want to show documents that are greater than 10 megabytes. Now this needs to be entered in in byte form. 10 megabytes in bytes is 10 million bytes. After putting that in, we click apply. Everything looks good. We will click save and search. Our document that is larger than 10 megabytes has now been populated. If you had multiple, they would all show up here. From here, we need to tag these documents so Blackout can recognize that they will be externally redacted. To do this, we will click the Select All checkbox and click Edit to edit the document properties. Now, you'll see that there is the Blackout Document Warnings field. If this field is not here, you can click the Build Layout button. You can search for Blackout Document Warnings. It will show up here. Simply click and drag it over into um, the section here, and then click Save and Close. Now, we're going to be using this field, so we will click this checkbox. And the warning to choose is cannot be redacted in the native viewer. After that, we can click Save. It will update the documents. Once this reloads, the documents have now been tagged. From here, we head over to the Blackout tab and to External Markups. You'll see that that document we tagged is now here under External Markups. From here, we can download the document, which I've already done. Once we're in Excel to externally redact, we have a few recommendations for how that should be done to ensure that no data is left behind. The first thing to do is select all of the cells and unhide any cell content. From there, we'll want to go ahead and copy everything in the workbook. We will select all, select copy, and paste as our values. This will get rid of any formulas that are on the sheet currently. After that's done, we can select the cells that need to be marked up and choose Clear Contents. To place our redaction, I'll click black in the paint bucket, which will place a black redaction. After that's done, I will click Save. It will save the document. After everything's saved, we'll head back over to Relativity and we need to upload the newly marked up document. I will choose my document from the computer and click the green upload button. After clicking that, it may take a moment depending on how large the document is. And after everything has uploaded, you will see this message appear that tells you that the file has been successfully uploaded. 
You'll also notice that the externally redacted column has been changed to yes to signify to you that the document has been downloaded. You then externally marked up the document and re-uploaded it to Relativity. After this is done, the documents can be propagated or produced as normal. Again, this was a brief overview on how to use the external markup workflow. If you have any questions at all about Blackout or any of the other products Malili offers, you can always email us at support at Thank you for watching.